Hi everyone. Welcome back to my math teaching channel online today. I'm so excited today to introduce to you my first, uh, my course overview, um, my first course online introduction to calculus um, that I have developed it um, over the past two and a half months with all my rich care and attention into it. Um, I want to serve on a student well. Um, and because this is my first course, so I don't want to rush. Um, and I, um, I don't want to rush my work. And I would like to um, share, I wish to contribute and share with you on the knowledge that I have learned in the past and understood about this course. So let me walk you through it quickly. So this is the course overview. And um, if you want, if you like my course and you want to register, this is my URL, uh, t-nancy-s.school.thinkific.com plus manage plus course. I would like to go over a little bit with you about the, the course overview. So this first introduction to calculate course covers in-depth analysis of the calculus math 12 to provide students the deep knowledge of what calculus mean. Um, its benefit is making a smooth transition between high school and university in mathematical concepts. Students who are willing to take this course before taking the first year of introduction to calculate course in the university will find themselves a lot easier to handle other courses in the university than students who must take calculus in their universities without the knowledge base of this course. This course includes video lectures of explanation, total 50 videos. So that is my course overview I would like to share with you. And the next course will be warm up chapter um, so for this warm up chapter, I should um, provide the basic concept of one to one function, inverse function, exponential and logarithmic function and problem solving, um, trigonometric transformation and problem solving. So this is the warm up section, um, which requires students to read through it on their own and um, to review the, the knowledge from Math 12 that they have already learned. Next, we the first chapter one, uh, the first chapter about limits. So in this chapter, I explained what limit is. Um, and how to find the limits from graphical approaches as well as algebraic approaches. Um, any chapter will have a video lecture to explain about the content and practice exercise, most answer key provided. And at the end of each chapter, you also have a chapter quiz to help you to regain the concept that you have learned and review it so that you don't forget. Um, and it's easier for you to learn the next concept. Next will be a chapter two, derivatives from a limit concept. So in this chapter, I focus on the rules of derivatives and 
teach you how to use derivative rules to differentiate um, the function. And there will be practice exercise provided. And as well at the end, uh, you also have a chapter quiz. Next chapter, I cover the discontinuity and continuous um, sketches of derivatives. So this chapter is um, about sketching using derivative to sketch the function, uh, figure out the uh, definition of what condition to meet a definition of a continuous function and what is called discontinuity in a function. And again, you will have practice exercise and answer key included. Next, chapter four, we're talking about the application of derivatives. So in this chapter, we focus a lot about uh, solving problem solving, how to use the application of derivative in problem solving. And there will be video lecture I explained to you um, from the simple problem to the more complex problem. So this is chapter four. Next will be chapter five about extreme values. So when we talk about extreme value, we want to focus on the local maxi maxima and local minima and the maximum level, the minimum level, like what I indicated in on the graph, the function. And there are always the word problems um, apply to what you have learned. So this course is very um, practical and very, um, it gives you a depth uh, sense of concept also give you uh, the, the way how to um, interpret the graph, analyze the graph, um, table analysis, and the practice of exercise to help you to solve the word problem in our reality uh, day life reality in economics, finance, um, physics, science, so on. And note, you notice that you have a chapter quiz at the end of it as well. So the next chapter is the continuous uh, continuity of this concept about the derivative of the trigonometric function and um, what is the rules of the inverse function and uh, how to differentiate um, trigonometric function and it in and their inverse. So video lecture notes including um, in this chapter and chapter quiz. Then the next chapter, I believe this is also a uh, last chapter, which is the derivative of logarithmic functions. So differentiated logarithmic function using implicit to find derivatives, problem solving involved derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. Practice exercise answer keys provided some sample solution also provided. And like any other chapter at the end, you'll have a short chapter quiz. Then at the end of this course, you will have a practice examination that I um, research and uh, download from the uh, BC government um, Ministry of Education of the, of the British Columbia um, for on the math 12 student who attend 
the MAT 12 calculus level. So this exam will give you um, the, the way of the seeing how the uh, question were desired to ask you in the exam and uh, to review, to help you to review over the course. And after the exam, uh, after your practice examination, you will have a real exam uh, designed from me to um, give you the, uh, the review, like the end of the course, just to see like how much you retain and how much you remember and, and, and uh, make sure that you um, understood the problem solving and help you to reconnect on the separate idea in each chapters to become the home picture and uh, help you to um, develop the sense of confidence that you understood about the course um, so I think that um, if you taking the course, you should uh, write the exam as well. Uh, it will help you a lot, right? Uh, in review the concept, make you to remember, to understand better. Um, learning is rehearsal. Uh, learning is rehearsal. I, in my experience, what I have learned and what I have understood about what I learned is not when I, I was learning, but when I was reviewing. So only after my review, I will absorb the concept and understand much better. But during the time when I taking the learning, it takes time it not get into my mind right away. Uh, and I overlook a lot of details and not understand them. Um, as the home picture, but going through the review and rehab songs, it helped me to gain the knowledge. At that time, my knowledge um, was um, gained uh, during the review, not during the, the time of study. During the time of study, sometimes you just uh, feel like sometimes you feel frustrating and struggling to when to go through, but after you review, it will give you a sense of, uh-huh, now I get it, right? So I hope that uh, you enjoy your learning journey um, with me. And um, but wishes for your learning online journey. Um, if you like my course, uh, please uh, register online. I will publish um, the course soon. Um, if, you, uh, if you write the exam at the end, uh, you will earn the certificate for this course as well. So thank you for watching. And I'm really um, enjoy is my you know, happiness to share with you on over the world what I have learned in the past, how I understood about the course. So this is not just the end, this is just the beginning of our online journey. My next course will be the second part of the calculus, which is get deep into um, the, um, the second fundamental of calculus, which is integration um, area under the curves, anti-derivatives. So we go forward and now we go backward. And you will see it when I show you the second part of the course. It will not happen very soon because, you know, like um, developed the course and writing the course is taking a lot of times. We need time for research, we need time for uh, testing, we need time for um, gathering, brainstorm our ideas and analyze 
into the details of what concept should we um, present first and what is the next sequence of the concept of, and we have to put it in the way of natural logical sequence of mathematics in the mathematics language. And actually I can correct in universal mathematics language. Um, the ideas come after one after another have to uh, express from symbol to complex, first step, second step and so on in the logical sequence of the order of the math language. So um, it, it, it's, it's a hard work, uh, but I really enjoy. And um, I hope that you will share with me the experience I went through and hopefully I can contribute to our global education to bring the gaps between poor and rich bring the gaps from uh, everywhere in the world for the equality, um, equality in our education. So I hope you enjoy my online course and bye for now. Thank you for watching.